Hey there, it's Hal. Um, I'm doing a review of Coggle uh, for the course. Uh, Coggle is a mind mapping tool and you can get to it by going to https forward slash coggle.it um, When you get there you can log in with your Google ID and it will get you to a screen that looks like this one. Inside of it you can create organizations and into organizations you can add specific people so that you can build things together collaboratively which is kinda cool or you can just create coggles on your own um, I've gone ahead and created one based on the link map for my website so if I click this you'll get an idea of what one looks like they're kinda cool here it goes articulating splines another SimCity reference for you so here you can see the central idea and then off of that you have other ideas that then extend into other ones. So it's a little more like following an idea along rather than having specific things branching off. Um, it's actually fairly simple to use and you can add images to things. It has its own what they call Coggle Markdown language which allows you to do things like strikeouts in the text and add code in the text by writing specific things in the boxes. So, for example, a strikeout is a double tilde and then a double tilde. So let's try that. So if I was to do tilde tilde, hello, tilde tilde, and then go, it'll strike out the text. I mean, that can be a little complicated, but just adding text in itself is pretty straightforward and we can drag these little sneaky things around and put them wherever we want. If I hold down shift while I'm dragging one, I get, if you notice here it's a plus, if I click the plus it'll add another line, continuing the line. If I then hit shift, it turns into an arrow which lets me drag it and attach it to a different line, like this. I can change the color of it by clicking the line and then choosing a new color. And it also changes the color of the associated text so you can have ideas organized by color or just organized by their location. Um, you can do HTML links as well, so this is actually a live link. And if I click on this, you'll see that this is the markup code that makes it live. It's not particularly complicated, but I think the code itself can get a little bit confusing. And there's a lot of it here, as you can see. You can actually do lists, which is kind of nice, and you can do numbered lists. You can even do things that have uh, checkboxes, which allows you to check off tasks as you do them. That's also kind of nice. But as a whole, I think it's a, it's a reasonably nice tool to use if you want something that looks like this as a result. Um, I don't know whether everybody will. If I click here, I can delete this whole arm by holding down Control. There's a lot of keyboard and mouse combinations with this. This is why it's all listed on this side over here. Um, I think that could get a little confusing when you're first starting out, but after a little while it does. it is pretty straightforward to start to use. Up here you can see who is involved in this current collaboration, so it's just me. Here you can have a full history of this document, so you can look at previous changes and you can actually scroll this upwards and it will let you see what the document looked like 29 minutes ago when I was building it. 32 minutes ago, I'm still learning how to use it. About an hour ago, I just started figuring out what links were. And then you can pull it forward. And you can make it, you can jump back to any previous iteration <coughs> by creating a copy of that version. So I could jump back 28 minutes ago and create a copy of it and then start again working from that point. But it doesn't overwrite what you already have. You can then download it, which is kind of nice. You can have a PDF or a PNG. You can download it as plain text where you can download it as a mind map file, which is nice for including in that software that uses .mms. Um, you can also share it by email address, and you can make them readers or writers, so you can have them able to edit, or you can have them um, just reading it. Um, overall, I think it's a pretty cool tool. I don't know whether I'd ever find any use for it, but it's kind of nice to have a little graphical layout of what my website looks like. Um, Overall, it's not bad. I don't know whether I could find much of an educational use for it here, other than maybe mapping out dental processes or getting them to talk about specific issues and then having them do a mind map for it. 
but then I think there's better tools out there that have less of a learning curve than this, although maybe they don't look quite so nice. So give it a try, see what you think, and um, let me know.